Well, good morning. I want to thank the Lord Jesus Christ for saving my soul, for reaching down into my soul and pulling out that hell and that sin and delivering me and breaking the curse and the power of sin. And I thank Him. One of the greatest lessons I think I've learned in my many failures is to draw my strength from Him. We, we get tired, but He never gets tired. We get weary, but he never, he never gets weary. Our hands get shaky, but He never, He never gets, His hands never get shaky. I say no matter how far you fall underneath are the everlasting arms. I thank God for his mercy today, for his mighty power. Paul prayed for the church at Ephesus. And God will give them a spirit of might in the inner man. And oh, how we need it. Oh, how we need strength. Oh, how we need the blessing and the presence of Christ in our soul. I thank God today. I want to address the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and this um, bondage, this bondage and this curse and this addiction in the soul of a man, praying that God will break those chains and set his people free. I, I, the, it's, to me, it's disrespectful to the cross to say that you cannot be free from lust or worry or even pride for that matter. Even though it is the natural state of a man. But I, you have to ask yourself, are you a man or a dog? Are you a man or a dog? And of course we know the scripture says that no dogs will inherit heaven, will be in heaven. You think he's talking about four-legged dogs or men that are base and cruel that always want to bite and snarl and snap no my friend he's talking about men the men of that sort will not be welcome in heaven and so I'm praying that God will strengthen our men our young men our Christian men that call on the name of Jesus the scripture says and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And we can call upon God in our temptation. We can find our that, that grace and that strength and that help in our time of trouble, in our temptations, and, and in our weakness. God strengthens us. And I thank Him for that. We don't have to be bowed down under a weight of guilt and sin and, and shame. Christians, when we love God, we draw near to God. Our passions are renewed. Our passions are redeemed. <laughs> Our passions are washed and cleansed by the blood of Christ, our Savior. And scripture goes on to say in Exodus 20, thou shalt not covet. Thou shalt not covet. It's a moral law of God. The moral law of God was not done away in the cross. The shedding of the blood of bulls and goats was done away. We have the eternal blood of Christ and the sprinkling of the blood of Christ to this day. And Peter mentions it. The sprinkling of the blood of Christ. Oh, hallelujah. That We have an altar in heaven, Hebrews says. And I thank God for that. An offering for our sin and for our weaknesses, for our blindness. Oh, how God would open our eyes and renew our, our heart. A new heart will I give you, says the Lord. A new spirit will I put within you. When Jesus said, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Did he mean the dead or the living? The man that walks in covenant rejoicing in Christ 
our Savior. With temperance, with due diligence, how can a young man cleanse his way? By giving heed thereto according to God's word. And God strengthens us. Jesus is the bread of heaven and he strengthens our spirit. He helps us to walk upright before him. Hallelujah. I live in a city that's known for its lust and its perversion. But God delivers a man. God helps a man. Scripture says that the man that humbles himself under the mighty hand of God, that God will lift him up. God will lift you up out of that madness, that confusion, that struggling, and that striving. I thank God for victory over sin. In the old, <laughs> in that old Pentecostal way, pray through. Pray through till you get the victory and you stand in faith rejoicing in Christ our Savior Jesus Christ breaks every curse he breaks the curse of sexual addiction he breaks the curse of pornography he breaks the curse of that unclean spirit the spirit of whoredom he breaks that thing and he sets a man free and I thank God today for that the scripture goes on to say love the Lord God Lord your God with all your heart with all your strength with all your mind, with everything that is within you, and love your neighbor as yourself. Love your neighbor. Love your neighbor as yourself. You dishonor in you the dignity of a woman. You dishonor and disrespect a woman, a child of God, lusting, defiling. Pursuing after that thing you know is not holy and pleasing in the sight of God. Pull yourself back. Pull yourself back. Ask God for grace. Ask God for the ability to walk uprightly. Ask God for the strength and rebuke that old devil. Get him off of you. The Bible says when Jesus was tempted, he said, get behind me, Satan. For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only, him only shalt thou serve. Oh, thank God for our Christ, for our Savior. Oh, I thank God that he lives in the heart of the believer. He lives in the heart of the one that's born again. Paul looked at the cross, and he said, It's no longer I that liveth, but Christ that liveth in me. I died with him. And that was my beat down. That was my death. That was my curse. And Jesus Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. As it is written, cursed is every one that hangs on a tree. Christ Jesus, our Savior, our Lord, is our deliverer, our redeemer. He redeems us. He reaches down into that heart and he pulls out that unclean thing. Jesus said, whatever my father has not planted shall be plucked up. That is a verse for every child of God, for every man, for every woman, every boy, every girl. Oh, Lord Jesus, reach down into my heart and to my soul and pull out that root of bitterness. Pull out, God, that root of doubt and unbelief. And I believe he'll do it for you. I believe he'll do it for you. Oh, if you stand upon the good word of God. Oh, oh, the great joy, the great peace. Oh, 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 glory to God. There's no greater peace, my friend, than walking upright before God, walking in right relationship with the living God by faith and trust in Jesus Christ. There's no greater joy, joy unspeakable and full of glory. There's no greater joy, my friend, than knowing your sins are washed away, that your name is written in the Lamb's book of life, that heaven is your home, oh glory. I'm not long for this world, like Dr. King said. I'm not long for this world. I just want to do God's will. So I just thank God today for the power 
of the Holy Spirit, the authority of God's word, a spirit of faith to lay hold of God's promise. Cleanse us, O oh God. Wash us, O oh God. Oh Lord, reach down and make that heart new and clean by faith and trust in Jesus Christ. God bless you today. Have fun, stay safe, and give God the glory in everything.